Magandang araw! Welcome sa ating new normal virtual classroom. Handa ka na ba? Siguraduhin nasa komportable lugar at maayos na nanonood sa ating programa. Tara! Aral tayo! Ako nga pala ang inyong math tita si grade 11 for general mathematics, Teacher May. Sometimes, it seems to be a joke for the students to even wait an expression like Finding the value of x. Ika nga nila, paulit-ulit. Di pa ba yan nakikita? Well, if you want to learn how to find the value of y, then you are in the right place. Welcome to your second module. But before we proceed with a new lesson, let's get ourselves ready. Be at ease. And if you have doubts or confusion, don't hesitate to ask your parents, ate or kuya, or anyone who is reviewing your house. What we will be discussing for today is in how to evaluate a function. This is our lesson objective. Before we proceed, let's go back to the time when you first encountered how to evaluate an expression. Do you still remember? Bravo! Going back, you have learned that in an algebraic expression, Letters can stand for numbers. And to find the value of the expression, there are two things that you have to do. First, replace each letter in an expression with the assigned value. So, kailangan natin palitan ang letter in the expression with that value na itinalaga sa kanya. To make your calculations clear and avoid mistakes, always enclose the numbers that you are substituting inside parentheses. The value that is given to a variable stays the same throughout the entire problem. Even if the letter occurs more than once in the expression, However, since variables vary, the value assigned to a particular variable can change from problem to problem, just not within a single problem. Second, perform the operations in the expression using the correct order of operations. Once you substituted the value for the letter, do the operations to find the value of the expression. Don't forget ha, to use the correct order of operations. The PEMDAS, the parentheses, exponentiation, multiplication, before you proceed to division, then addition, and lastly, is subtraction. To further understand the topic, evaluating functions, let us study the following. Given the following expressions, find its value if x is equal to 3. We have number 1, x minus 9. Number 2, 3x plus 7. And number 3, x squared plus 4x minus 10. You've got 30 seconds. Timer starts now. Time's up. What is your answer? If your answer for number 1 is this, x minus 9 is equal to 3 minus 9, which is equal to negative 6. If this is your answer, then well done. You've got it right. Since x is equal to 3, we just replaced x by 3 in the expression. Then, subtract by 9. Did you answer this for number 2? 3x plus 7 is equal to 3 times 3 plus 7, which is equal to 16. Is this your answer? Well then, congratulations! You're right! Following the steps, we just replaced x by 3. 
multiply it by the numerical coefficient 3, then add 7. For number 3, if your answer is x squared plus 4x minus 10 is equal to 3 squared plus 4 times 3 minus 10, which is equal to 11. Then, you are right. After replacing x by 3, we get the square of 3, which is 9. Add it to the product of 4 and 3. Then lastly, we subtracted 10 from its sum. Now, I bet you're so ready for a new lesson. Please, get your module in general mathematics and prepare your notebook, ball pen, and paper. If you feel like kailangan yung magbanyo, please do it now. Because in a few minutes, we are going to start our new discussion. Handa ka na ba? Tara! Simulan na natin. Evaluating function is the process of determining the value of the function at the number assigned to a given variable. So, para malaman natin kung ano ang value ng function with a specific number assigned to the letter or variable, kailangan natin mag-evaluate ng function. Again, we just have to remember the two steps ha? in evaluating a function. First, replace each letter in the expression with the assigned value. And perform the operations in the expression using the correct order of operations. Look at these examples. Given f of x is equal to 2x minus 4, find the value of the function if x is equal to 3. The solution is f of 3 is equal to 2 times 3 minus 4, which is equal to 6 minus 4 equals 2. What we did here is that we first substitute 3 for x in the function. Then, we simplify the expression on the right side of the equation. So, the answer on the given f of x is equal to 2x minus 4 is that f of 3 is equal to 2. Another example, given f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 7, find g of negative 3. Our solution is that substitute negative 3 for x in the function 3x squared plus 7. Substitute negative 3 for x in the function. So 3x squared plus 7 becomes g of x is equal to 3 times negative 3 squared plus 7, which is equal to 3 times 9 plus 7, which is equal to 34. So the answer on the given g of x is equal to 3x squared plus 7 is 34. How about this problem? Given f of x is equal to 5x plus 1, find f of h plus 1. So, our solution is, first, we substitute h plus 1 into the equation for x. So, this f of x equals 5x plus 1 becomes f of h plus 1, which is equal to 5 times h plus 1 plus 1, which is again equal to 5h plus 5 plus 1. And then we got 5h plus 6. What we did after the first step is that we used the distributive property on the right side and then we combine like terms to simplify. That is why the given f of x is equal to 5x plus 1 
becomes f of h plus 1 which is equal to 5h plus 6. Now, let us reflect from those solutions presented by answering this question. What works best in evaluating a function? You're right! First, we just have to replace each letter in the expression with a signed value. And then, perform the operations in the expression using the correct order of operations. Always remember the rule of signed numbers, huh? And most especially, the PEMDAS for the order of operations so that evaluating a function will be so easy for you. Do you have a clear idea now on how to evaluate the function? Yes. Exactly! Now, can you give example of a function and a given value of the variable with a corresponding solution as you evaluate its value? Please write it down on your notebook. Now, take a look with this example. Evaluate the function f of x is equal to the absolute value of x minus 8. Where absolute value of x minus 8 means the absolute value of x minus 8 if x is equal to 3. What is your solution? Can you try it on your notebook? I'll give you 10 seconds. Your timer starts now. Time's up. What is your answer? Tama. We have to substitute 3 for x in the function. Simplify the expression on the right side of the equation. And remember that a number in the absolute value sign is always positive. So, this f of x is equal to the absolute value of x minus 8 becomes f of 3 is equal to the absolute value of 3 minus 8 which is equal to the absolute value of negative 5 and then we got 5. That is why the given f of x is equal to the absolute value of x minus 8 becomes f of 3 is equal to 5. Do you comprehend well everything about evaluating function? Mmm! Try this one! Evaluate the function f of x is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 2 at f of 2x minus 3. Well done! I'm sure that you are already competent when it comes to evaluating function. With that being said, let us test your understanding. You have 10 seconds to choose the correct answer in each question. Good luck! Handa ka na ba? Let's begin! Find the function value given h of x is equal to 9 minus 5x of x is equal to 3m. A, 9 minus 15m. B, 9 minus 15m squared. C, 9 plus 15m. Or D, 9 plus 15m squared. Again, find the function value given h of x is equal to 9 minus 5x of x is equal to 3m. A, 9 minus 15m. B, 9 minus 15m squared. C, 9 plus 15m. Or D, 9 plus 15m squared. Your 10 second timer starts now. Number 2. Which of the following is the value of the function f of x is equal to the absolute value of 4x squared minus 8 plus 2 given x is equal to 2? A. 8 B. 9 C. 10 
or D, 11. Again, which of the following is the value of the function f of x is equal to the absolute value of 4x squared minus 8 plus 2? Given x is equal to 2. A, 8, B, 9, C, 10, or D, 11. Your 10 second timer starts now. Number 3. Give the value of the function c of x is equal to 3x squared minus 36 at c of 5. a negative 21, b 14, c 111, or d 39. Again, give the value of the function c of x is equal to 3x squared minus 36 at c of 5. a negative 21, b 14, c 111, or d 39. Your 10 second timer starts now. Number 4. Evaluate h of x is equal to 5x cubed minus 3x plus 9. Given x is equal to 3. a 45, b 63, c 135, or d 153. Again, evaluate h of x is equal to 5x cubed minus 3x plus 9 given x is equal to 3. a 45, b 63, c 135 or d 153. Your 10 second timer starts now. Number 5. Given g of x is equal to x squared minus 3 all over 2, determine g of 5. a 11, b 7 over 2, c negative 11, or d negative 7 over 2. Again, given g of x is equal to x squared minus 3 all over 2, determine g of 5. a 11, b 7 over 2, c negative 11, or D, negative 7 over 2. Your 10 second timer starts now. Now, let us check your answer. Here is the answer key. 1 is letter A, 2, C, 3, D, 4, C, 5, A. Again, 1, A, 2, C, 3D, 4C, and 5A. How was it? Did you get it all right? Well done! If you scored 5, perfect! You're so ready for our next discussion. If you got 4, very good. Make it perfect next time. But if you scored 3 and below, please review this lesson. And that's the wrap. That's it. I hope you have learned something today, especially on evaluating functions. Do you feel good about what you do and learn? Well done! On our next lesson, we will be learning more about functions. See you in our next video for another day of virtual discussion. Again, this is Ma Roxan Regrofieldas, your math tita, teacher May, reminding you to please Stay safe and healthy. I will look forward to the day soon when school looks a bit more like it did before COVID-19. Until then, I'm here for you and I'm so proud to be your teacher serving you, my dear students.